Understanding Group Stage Darts in English. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of sports terminology, specifically focusing on the phrase group stage darts. This might seem like a niche topic, but it's a great example of how English blends specific words to create a new meaning, particularly in the context of sports. So, whether you're a darts enthusiast, a language learner, or just curious, this video is for you. Group stage darts is a compound phrase combining two concepts, group stage and darts. Let's break them down. 1. Group stage. This term is commonly used in tournaments and sports leagues. It refers to the initial phase of a competition where contestants or teams are divided into groups. They compete within these groups before advancing to the next round. 2. Darts. A popular game and sport involving small missiles, darts, thrown at a circular target fixed to a wall. It's known for its precision, skill, and is played professionally in various leagues and tournaments. Combining these, Group stage darts refers to the early round in a darts tournament where players are divided into groups and compete to advance to the next stage of the competition. Understanding the group stage is crucial in comprehending how many sports tournaments are structured. Equal opportunity. It ensures all players have a fair chance to showcase their skills. Strategy and excitement. Players must strategize differently against various opponents. Viewer engagement. For fans and viewers, this stage adds layers of excitement and anticipation. In darts tournaments, the group stage sets the tone for the competition, providing drama and unexpected outcomes. Group stage darts is a great example of sports jargon. These phrases reflect culture. They offer insights into the culture and popularity of specific sports in English-speaking countries. Our dynamic language in sports evolves with the game, adding new words and phrases regularly. I hope this video has shed light on the phrase, group stage darts, and given you a glimpse into the dynamic nature of English, especially in sports terminology. Remember, Language learning is not just about grammar and vocabulary, but also about understanding cultural contexts and real life applications. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.